Welcome back to the Soil Doctor channel. Today we're diving into something I'm incredibly passionate about, how to transform lifeless dirt back into vibrant living soil using nature's own healers. Today we're diving into something I'm incredibly passionate about, how to transform lifeless dirt back into vibrant living soil using nature's own healers. If you're looking at a patch of land that seems beyond hope, compacted, depleted, or virtually sterile, this video is specifically for you. Dead soil isn't just dirt that won't grow plants. It's an ecosystem that's lost its life force, the microorganisms, structure, and nutrient cycling that make soil function. Whether your soil has been damaged by overcultivation, chemical use, erosion, or construction work, these five remarkable plants can jumpstart the healing process, often faster and more effectively than commercial amendments alone. I've personally used all five of these plants to restore severely compromised soils in different climate conditions, and I'm excited to share exactly how you can use them too. Let's dive right into Nature's Soil Restoration Team. Comfrey, also known as Symphytum officinale, is often referred to as the deep miner. If I could choose only one plant to restore dead soil, comfrey would likely be my pick. This perennial powerhouse is quite possibly the most efficient soil-building plant available to gardeners, and its effects on depleted ground can seem almost miraculous. What makes comfrey special starts beneath the surface. Its tap roots can penetrate up to 10 feet deep, accessing minerals and nutrients from subsoil layers that most plants can't reach. This deep mining action effectively pumps nutrients upward as the plant grows. Potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron, and silica, elements often depleted in damaged soil, are concentrated in comfrey's abundant foliage. But comfrey's soil-building talents don't stop there. But comfrey's soil-building talents don't stop there. The plant produces massive amounts of biomass, growing so quickly you can harvest it four to five times per season. Each cutting decomposes rapidly thanks to its high nitrogen content, releasing those mined nutrients back to the topsoil where other plants can access them. This creates what soil scientists call a nutrient elevator, transporting minerals from deep subsoil to the surface. To use comfrey as a soil restorer, start with root cuttings of Russian comfrey which is sterile and won't spread by seed. Plant cuttings about three feet apart in your damaged soil area. Even in poor conditions, comfrey usually establishes successfully. Once plants reach about 2 feet tall, cut them down to about 2 inches above the soil and lay the chopped leaves directly on the soil surface as mulch. For extremely damaged soil, I recommend letting the first two cuttings decompose in place. After that, you can start using some of the cuttings elsewhere in your garden as mulch or compost material. Each decomposing layer of comfrey adds organic matter, introduces beneficial microorganisms, and improves soil structure. Each decomposing layer of comfrey adds organic matter, introduces beneficial microorganisms, and improves soil structure. What I find particularly valuable about comfrey is how it creates habitat for soil life. As its leaves decompose on the surface, they create the perfect moist, protected environment for earthworms and beneficial insects to move in. These creatures then continue the work of soil building through their movement and waste products. After one full season of comfrey treatment, you'll notice your once dead soil developing a darker color and more aggregated structure, physical signs that the healing process is well underway. Daikon radish, also known as Raffinus sativus, is often called the compaction breaker. Sometimes the biggest problem with dead soil isn't just nutrient depletion, it's compaction. Soil that's been compressed by equipment, foot traffic, or even years of rain impact loses its pore spaces. Without these critical air pockets, beneficial aerobic microorganisms can't survive, roots can't penetrate, and water either runs off or pools instead of infiltrating properly. This is where daikon radish performs its remarkable soil therapy, 
Also called tillage radish or forage radish, this plant produces a thick, powerful tap root that can penetrate compacted soil up to 6 feet deep. This is where daikon radish performs its remarkable soil therapy. Also called tillage radish or forage radish, this plant produces a thick, powerful tap root that can penetrate compacted soil up to 6 feet deep. As these massive roots grow, they literally push apart compacted soil particles, creating channels for air, water, and future plant roots. What happens next is where the real magic occurs. When winter temperatures drop below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, the radishes die and their large roots decompose in place, leaving open channels in the soil. These natural drill holes improve drainage, increase oxygen penetration, and make it easier for the next generation of plants to establish deep roots. The decomposing radish also releases powerful compounds that stimulate microbial activity. In previously dead soil, this microbial stimulation is crucial for restarting the soil food web, the complex network of organisms that cycle nutrients and create soil structure. To use daikon radish as a soil restorer, broadcast seeds densely, about 10 to 15 pounds per acre or 4 to 6 ounces per 1,000 square feet, in late summer or early fall. The plants will grow rapidly until winter frost kills them. By spring, much of the root material will have decomposed, leaving behind improved soil structure. For severely compacted areas, I found that repeating this process for two consecutive years creates dramatic improvement. For severely compacted areas, I found that repeating this process for two consecutive years creates dramatic improvement. The first year's radishes break the initial compaction, while the second year's plants penetrate even deeper, creating a well-structured soil profile. What I particularly value about the daikon radish approach is that it's doing work no mechanical method could accomplish without disrupting soil layers. These natural soil drills work gradually without damaging soil life or creating a hard pan below the surface, 